So rapper Drake decides to come to his senses like majority of rappers and entertainers in the industry should do has decided to unfollow the bum James on social media. We're talking about Drake. I've been moving car, no start, no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful, let a struggle with me. Brown pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle with Diddy. You know how I like it when you loving on me. I just want LeBron to go to prison. Guess they see the things that I'm wishing on him. It's God's plan. <laughs> it's in God's plan to lock the Diddy James up. Every celebrity in the industry needs to unfollow the bum James. Now, the media has twisted this, manipulated the public into thinking that since Drake got into his rap beef with Kendrick Lamar, that Drake unfollowing LeBron James stems from LeBron James supporting Kendrick Lamar and being fake within the beef. But Drake, and like many of us, realists who see things beyond the surface, who can recognize the truth in plain sight, real eyes recognize real lies. But Drake has already gotten word from the higher ups, from the elites, to distance yourself from La Bum James. Because not only did Drake unfollow La Bum James, he also unfollowed the diddler. He also unfollowed other celebrities because he knows that La Bum James' name has been included in Diddy documents of racketeering, of trafficking little girls. The walls are closing in on La Bum James. The FBI is going to break the walls down. They're going to kick down the doors at the LeBum James mansion that Nike paid for. Remember, Nike is in bed with China. Nike have slave shops. Phil Knight and others are famous for coining the phrase at Nike, just do it, which is no different than Aleister Crowley, who's a master Satanist. He's a part of the Illuminati, the secret society. These are high level devil worshipers, ladies and gentlemen. But Aleister Crowley put out a quote which said, do what thy wilt, which pretty much falls in line with just do it. Nike, do what you want. We should live in a world with no rules. See, this stuff goes deeper than LeBum James. But as I've been saying before, LeBum James is dark and evil. He's sick in the head. He blood sacrificed Kobe Bryant because he wanted to take Kobe Bryant's throne. He secretly wanted to take Kobe Bryant's throne as the king of Los Angeles. See, he knows that Kobe Bryant is highly respected by his basketball peers. For Kobe, it wasn't about going to those Illuminati parties. For Kobe, he didn't have any friends. He was dedicated to the sport, dedicated to his craft. He worked tirelessly, blood, sweat, Tears gave it his all and never quit. Made two free throws on a torn Achilles. Will his team to a playoff spot. But here you have LeBum James years later taking steroids allegedly, which the NBA is covering up. He's taking these steroids and trying to will his team to, to an end season tournament. <laughs> you got to take steroids allegedly just to will your team to an end season tournament just to will your team to a playoff spot are you kidding me but LeBum james has supplied diddy with all the oil all the baby oil so LeBum james knows that his days are numbered in the rba He's going down with Diddy. Diddy once had a song titled, I'll Be Missing You. But LeBum James, if your career were to end today or tomorrow, or if they were to throw you in jail for life, and I ain't talking about the movie with Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, but if they were to throw you in jail for life, nobody would be missing you. There have been multiple reports, specifically from Diddy's lawyer, which exposes that high level elites some entertainers that you may love celebrities the celebrity worship has got to stop but the celebrities that you love will be included in diddy's documents lebum james is included in diddy's list because he was at the diddy parties lebum james had to be can opened if you get my drift in order to reach the top, which is why LeBum James constantly throws up the pyramid. What's unfolding before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen, what you're witnessing is that when it comes to the secret society, there's different phases of Freemasonry. 
And once you get to the very top, you have to sell your soul. You have to make blood sacrifices. And this is what LeBum James is into. He eats humans. LeBum James is into cannibalism, not smoking cannabisism. LeBum James is a wicked guy. He's trafficking little girls. But when it comes to the elites, the secret society, there's different degrees of Freemasonry. And then there's the elites at the top. It's like a triangle. These guys are related through the Illuminati bloodline. I'm educating and preaching at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost like I could be a pastor and a teacher. LeBum James is just a puppet. And what's happening is they have no use for the LeBum Jameses of the world. And they have no more use for the Drakes of the world, for the Kendrick Lamars of the world. They have no more use for the Jay-Zs, the Little Waynes of the world. Because now they have a different agenda. They're normalizing rainbow community activities. They want for the LeBron James. They want for men. They want for. They want male on male action. So they can continue to depopulate society. They want to make evil normal. So they have no more use for the ditties of the world. See, now what they're doing is they're exposing all their dark secrets. They're utilizing these influencers that the masses worship. They know that most people are followers and they mimic whatever the celebrities do. And they're using them to promote and romanticize and glorify these rainbow community activities so that it become normal amongst the masses. And then once they're done with the LeBron Jameses of the world, the puppets, so to speak, then they're going to dispose of them. There's this famous singer by the name of CeeLo Green who has a song titled Closeted Freak. And you could practically say that the song was about LeBum James. No diddy.